plasma it has chemical vapor deposition, PECVD2 chaining video. So firstly, we will talking about what is the PECVD. For the PECVD, we need to introduce the reactant gases into our vacuum chamber through a shower head. You may find that there have the many small holes on the shower head. That shower head can help us distribute the gases evenly between the cathode and the anode. Then we apply our power between these two electrodes. So usually for the PECVD and the weight and our power is on the top electrode. It will be different from the RE. So you make the RE, it will apply the up power to the bottom electrode. With this uh, up power, our gases will change into the plasma status. This plasma will help us and we can do our silicon oxide or do the silicon nitride deposition on our sample surface and with a low temperature. You may find this deposition will happen everywhere in the chamber. It's not only on top of your sample surface. It's also on top of the shower head. It's on the chamber wall. So that's the reason why you need to run the cleaning of your deposition. We want to clean those deposition on the chamber wall, on the shower head, on the sample plate. And also, that's the reason why we need to run the conditioning. So we need to run the conditioning. And before your deposition, make sure it's already coating a thin layer of silicon nitride on the whole surface. It will give you the better deposition results for your silicon nitride fields. For the PCVD, it can provide the better uniformity, better step coverage film growth. And also compared to the regular CVD process, it will have the lower deposition temperature. So usually it can operate it's from like 100 to 300 centigrade for the deposition. It's okay for deposit silicon oxide nitride on the metal layers, on part of the polymer layers. So this is very important because some application you need coating the silicon nitride or oxide on top of the polymer, on top of the metal materials. So if your growth temperature is above like the 600, 800 centigrade and for your film growth, so it's impossible for you to load your metal or the polymer sample into the chamber. But for the PCVD, it can help you do uh, those process. We have PCVD here at ML, so we call it the PCVD2. And this CVD, we could use it for the silicon nitride film deposition. We set the temperature of our sample holder to the 250 centigrade. We set the temperature of our chamber wall to the 60 centigrade. And we're using the 2% saline nitrogen, ammonia, and nitrogen and for our silicon nitride deposition. I list the parameters for our recipes here, so like including the gas flow, the pressure, and the power. We could achieve the deposition rate around 11.9 nanometers per minute. You can uh, load your sample and sample size can up to 8 inch wafer. If you have the small pieces sample, you can load many pieces into the chamber for your deposition process. Just remember to double check, make sure your substitute materials will not melt under the temperature of the 250 centigrade. And also for the height of your sample, you cannot be too high. It should be less than the one inch because if it's too high, it may touch the shower head and then have some of the residue and the contamination of the shower head. For the mode for this machine, it's auto mode. So that means for your deposition recipe, for your cleaning recipe, and for the pre deposition recipe. So all these recipes can run automatically. You just need to make sure you load the correct recipe for your process. So staff, you have user to load the recipe like from the 10 nanometers to the 50 nanometers, 100, 200, 300, 400 nanometers silicon nitrogen deposition recipes into this machine. You just need to choose those recipes from the system automatically. So if you need the other thickness, it's not listed there, you can start and start up you to load the recipe to this machine. And next we will talking about the operation of the tool. And before you use this tool in the lab, please reserve it online. So here's the link for the registration system. 
And when you raise the PCVD to online, please include in the cleaning time of your deposition process. Now, due to COVID-19, 342 maximum is allowed when you start working inside it. So when you raise the PCVD to online, it will automatically block the other user to raise the other tools in the same lab during that time. And this is very important for the safety of the user and the staff. So please follow the reference rules when you're using the PCVD2. You will find the paper logbook for PCVD2 is on that preparation table, which is next to the machine. And please log your usage on the paper logbook when you use the tool in lab. Step one, verify system status. If the monitor is not on, you could turn it on. The system should display a process complete window and you can use that checkboard and left mouse button to select that OK button. And make sure that the mechanical pump is in the green status. There's no alarm information. There's no alarm and with that machine. And if you hear the alarm or you find there have alarm information, report to staff and do not continue your work. And now we can left click the standby button and let the system go back to the standby status. And then you could log your information on the paper logbook. Step 2. Run pre dep recipe. Firstly, load the pre dep recipe. Click on Process. Then load to open the process selection window. To choose the pre prc and then click OK button, our pre dep recipe will be loaded on the screen. Then run the pre dep process. Click ready button first. Wait until the ready mode temperature achieved. And then you can click run button. For this step, we could click OK. The screen will change to step one and run the process automatically. For the silicon nitride, the film growth rate and also the film quality will depend heavily on the chamber condition. For the best results, the chamber cleaning after your deposition process and also conditioning the chamber before your deposition process. Both steps are very important. To condition the chamber, that means we run a short process. The silicon nitride will be deposited without a sample in the chamber. So this will code the shower head, the sample holder, and the chamber walls before your deposition process. The process is similar with our real silicon nitrogen deposition, which you have sample inside it. We do the nitrogen purge, we pump down the chamber, and we introduce the gases into the chamber. Then we will wait the gas and also the pressure is stable. Next, we could apply the power to the chamber. This will generate the plasma inside the chamber. It will have the silicon nitride coat in the chamber. After deposition, we will also run the nitrogen purge and pump down cycles. This will prevent the dust build up in the gas line. The whole pre process will need about 20 minutes. And you need to include the pre time when you reserve the tool online. And now we already go to the step four for our pre recipe. And we in already introduced the nitrogen to our chamber. We wait the nitrogen gas flow stable. And also we meet our chamber pressure to the 1,000 millitor. Wait the bowl stable and also meeting them for two minutes. Next, we will introduce the saline and also introduce the ammonia to our chamber. Okay, so we go to step five. We introduce the ammonia is 18 SCCM, nitrogen 800 SCCM, and saline 
675 SCCM, and we still keep our pressure to the 1,000 millilitor in this uh, gases inside the chamber for one minute. For the step 6, we will apply the off power to the chamber. Our off power is 30 watts. After several seconds, the power is stable, and then we can check through the wheel window, and then you should find that we have the plasma light inside the chamber. It should be in the pink light because most gases is nitrogen in the really large gas flow there. And then you can just check that the reflect power and DC voltage. So both numbers should be very small. So you can also record those numbers and during your process. For this step, and we do the deposition for eight minutes and in the chamber for our silicon nitride coating there. And when the deposition finished, we will do the machine purge and pump down, and we do several times. Each time we purge one minute, and then pump down for the 30 seconds. For the nitrogen purge, we maintain the pressure, go to the 50 millitor. And for the pump down, and we pump down the chamber pressure below than 10 millitor. And for the last step, we will also pump it on the chamber below than 10 millilitor. 
And after this end step is complete, the system will display a process complete window. So now we have finished our pre-dev process. And when you click this OK button, it will return to the menu. Step 3, Vent the Chamber. Firstly, we need to left click on the Standby button and change the system back to standby status. Then we can choose the utility menu and click vent to vent the chamber. After you click the vent button, it will close the throttle valve first, disconnect the pump from the chamber. And next, it will introduce the argon into the chamber. So from screen, you can find that the argon gas line, it will be filled with gases. And then we wait the chamber pressure, go to atmosphere pressure. So this process, you may need wait around two to three minutes. And during the venting process, uh, the chamber on screen will show in the red status and there will have the vacuum. And when it is finished, it will change to the blue status. And also there will have the atmosphere showing on the screen. Okay, so now you find a change to atmosphere, from also change from red to blue status. And you will also find it on the info area, so they will show in the vent complete. So now we are ready to load our sample inside the chamber. Step four, load the sample. When the chamber pressure go to atmosphere pressure, and we are ready to load our sample inside the chamber. So now we can carefully lift the reactor cover to open the chamber. And then we can load our sample inside the chamber. Remember to use one hand to hold that handle and another hand to load your sample into the chamber in case that the chamber top job, so that would be very dangerous. Please remember, so for the temperature of the sample holder, is a 250 centigrade. For the chamber wall, it's 60 centigrade. Do not touch it during your loading your sample there. And for this training session, we will load one glass slide into the chamber. So use your tweezer, hold your sample, and load to the chamber. And if you only have one sample, you can place your sample in the center of that sample holder. Make sure all your sample is inside the circle of that sample holder. And after you load your sample inside, and now uh, we are okay to close the chamber top. Step five, pumping down the chamber. So we need to choose the menu utilities, and then click on the pump chamber, and wait like the 20 to 30 seconds, and the throttle valve will be opening,
and then we keep waiting until the pressure below than 5 millitor. So this process you may need to wait around a half minute up to one minute. Step 6, wrong depthation recipe. Firstly, we need to load the depthation recipe. So we click on the process and then choose the load to open the process selection window. We already loaded the several auto recipe into this machine. So like we have the 10 nanometers, 15 nanometers, 100, 200, 300, and 400 nanometers for the silicon nitrate depthation recipe. And then you can choose appropriate thickness you need and then choose that's the recipe name. So for today's training session, we choose the 10 nanometer silicon nitrate depthation recipe. And now if you click the OK button, so our 10 nanometer recipe will be loaded on the screen. And then we can run our depthation process. So we click the ready button first and wait until ready mode temperature achieved. And then we click the run button and this we could click OK. So the screen will change to the step one and run the process automatically. So after the recipe is running, so you will find that each active step will be displayed in a date readout box. And for our silicon nitrate deposition process, so we do the nitrogen purge and then we pump down the chamber. And then next, we will introduce the gas into the chamber. And we wait the gas flow, we wait the pressure stable, and we will apply the off power to the chamber. So after you apply the off power to the chamber, so this will generate the plasma inside the chamber, and then we have the silicon nitride depthation on our sample surface. And then when the depthation is finished, and we will also run the nitrogen purge and pump down cycles. So this step will prevent the dust build up in the gas slime. For the 10 nanometer step process, the whole process will need around like the 30 minutes. And now we will just check the step one by one. So now we still do the nitrogen purge. And then we will pump it in the chamber below than 10 millilitor.
And now we introduce the nitrogen into the chamber and then wait the nitrogen gas flow and the chamber pressure stable. So we set the nitrogen flow to 800 SCCM and we set our pressure to the 1000 millitor. And next, we will introduce the ammonia and also the saline into the chamber. So we maintain our ammonia gas flow to the 18 SCCM. Uh, we maintain our saline gas flow and to the 675 SCCM. And also the chamber pressure will still keep around 1,000 millitor. And then we wait the gas flow and also the pressure stable. And then we will apply the off power to the chamber. So now the silicon nitrate deposition starts, and you need to monitor the gas flow set point, and also verify the plasma, and by checking through the wheel port on front of our chamber lead. The plasma light should be in the pink light. And also record the parameters like the pressure, gas flow rate, the fault power, reflect power, and total process time on the paper logbook. That power should be in a small number, like it's one, zero, if it's more than three. So that means that the auto matching network is not tuning properly. So it will uh, have some of the bad results, like the thickness of our silicon nitride materials is not properly controlled. If that happens, please stop your process and report it to the staff. And when our deposition is finished, we will also do a nitrogen purge and then pumping down and do several times.
add step is finished, the system will display a process complete window. And it means our 10 nanometer silicon nitride process is finished. And now you can click that OK button. It will return to that regular menu. And we could vent the chamber and unload our sample now. Step 7, vent the chamber. Firstly, we need to left click on the standby button and change the system back to standby status. Then we can choose the utility menu. Click vent to vent the chamber. After you click the vent button, it will close the throttle valve first, disconnect the pump from the chamber. Next, it will introduce the argon into the chamber. So from screen, you can find that the argon gas line, it will be filled with gases. Then we wait the chamber pressure, go to atmosphere pressure. So this process, you may need wait around 2 to 3 minutes. During the venting process, uh, the chamber on screen will show in the red status and there will have the vacuum. And when it is finished, it will change to the blue status. And also there will have the atmosphere showing on the screen. Okay, so now you find a change to atmosphere from, and also change from red to blue status. You will also find it on the info area, so they will show in the vent complete. So now we are ready to unload the sample from the chamber. Step 8. Unload the sample. Once the chamber pressure goes to atmosphere pressure, we are ready to unload our sample from the chamber after our depthation. So now well, we can unload our glass slide from the chamber. During unloading, remember use one hand to hold the handle, another hand to unload your sample from the chamber. Remember, so the chamber, the temperature of sample holder at 250 degrees, just be really careful. After you unload your sample, you can place your sample on that heat sink, which is on the table, and then you can just uh, slowly close your chamber top. Do not to immediately transfer your sample to your plastic wafer container. It will melt your wafer container because your sample temperature is also around 250 degrees after your deposition process. And after you close the chamber top, and we are ready to pump down the chamber for the cleaning. Step 9, pump down chamber. So we need to choose the menu utilities. And click on the pump chamber. Wait like the 20 to 30 seconds. Throttle valve will be opening. And then we keep waiting until the pressure below than 5 millitor. So this process you may need to wait around a half minute up to one minute.
Step 10, run cleaning recipe. Firstly, we need to load the cleaning recipe to the system. Click on process and then load to open the process selection window. And choose the first recipe clean you and then click OK button. Our cleaning recipe will be loaded on the screen. And then run the cleaning recipe. Click ready button first. Wait until the ready mode temperature achieved and then click the run button. So this step we could click OK and this screen will change to step 1 and run the process automatically. So firstly we also will do the nitrogen purge and pump down and then we will introduce the etching gas into the chamber. So we use the SF6 for the PCVD2. And then we wait the gas and the pressure stable, and we will apply our power to the chamber. So this will generate the plasma inside the chamber, and the SF6 plasma will help us to clean in the silicon nitride coating is inside of the chamber. And then we will have a clean chamber and ready for the next user usage. And after the cleaning finished, we also will run the nitrogen purge and pump down for several times and make sure we can prevent the dust build up in the gas line. The whole process will need around the 20 minutes, so you need to include this time when you reserve to online. So now we go to the step 5 for the cleaning recipe. We have SF6 for the 200 SCCM, and we also have the power. You can check there have the plasma light inside of the window. The pressure we keep is around 500 millitor. The power we keep is 60 watts. And for here, you can also check that the reflect power and DC wattage. So both of them will be uh, the small numbers. So if you find the reflect power is more than 10% of our setting power, it's more than 6 watts, please let us start now. And now the cleaning is finished, and we do the nitrogen purge and pump down. And when the cleaning recipe is finished, there will also have a window and let us know it's finished. And we can click that OK button and also we can click standby, that system back to standby status. Special notes and restrictions. 
Please read the COVID-19 P72, the safety measures, carefully before using the tool in lab. You can only use the P72 if you have been approved by ML Microsoft Stock. And you need to reserve the tool online and also lock the usage on the paper logbook. This tool is reserved for depositing silicon nitride films on your sample surface. And you must wear your gloves when you need to touch any of the internal chamber parts, or you need to handle in the subject. Take the actual care, do not to touch the sample holder. So this sample holder is heated to the 250 centigrade, and the chamber wall is heated to the 60 centigrade. Only the clean samples that do not outgas could be used inside the chamber. And also remember, no low matting temperature materials allowed it in the chamber because it will be melt and also create some residues and contamination in the chamber is really difficult to remove. And when you are done with your work, always clean the chamber by running the clean recipe and also make sure to leave the chamber under vacuum. If the gas flow or the pressure could not go to set value in certain time, you may hear the alarm. The nature of the alarm will be displayed in the info line at the bottom of the screen. And this alarm needs to be acknowledged by clicking on the alarm button, which is located at the bottom, which is in the red corner of the screen. After you click the alarm button and the alarm sound will cease and the hold button will be highlighted. And sometimes it's because there have some click on the software, it cannot set the value to our set value. So for if that happens, and you click alarm first, and then you click the hold button. So if it solves this problem, and then if you go to next step, and then you can keep on your process, if it still pop up the same arrows and the same alarm in the line, in the info line, and you need to contact the star. When doing a pumping down process. So sometimes it may also have some problems, like the start valve cannot be fully open or fully closed. It may have the alarm. If that happens, you can still click that hold button and then it will fix that issue. If after you click the hold button and it still pop up the same the arrow info there and you need to report it to a star. When you pump down the chamber, and after you click pump down button, but you find there have some the arrows in that the info line and that you, you still need to close your chamber. So if that happens, you can bring a pen and then you can go to the side of the chamber. And you can use a pen to push a little for that plastic part. And then it can fix that issue, it will keep pumping down. If no stuff is available and the instrument is not working as expected, so you should do the following. Click the about button that email to microfabstaff at ml.illinois.edu. If possible, Please stay by the instrument we are trying to contact Microfab staff member. If it is necessary to leave the room, please leave a note on the P72 and stating this machine is down and log this information on the paper logbook. If a dangerous situation is evident, like there has a smoke, has a fire, or you smell some of the unusual chemical smell in this room, and you could press the EMO button, so which is on the front of this machine, and notify all the other users in the room 342 to evacuate and leave the room immediately. You could then contact the proper emergency personnel from a safe place. After watching this Chini video, if you have any questions about this machine's operation or during your process later, you have any questions about the process development, welcome to contact me. You can call my office phone, you can go to my office, send me an email, and I'm here to help you on the operation and the process development. And I hope you could get the good results with our machine here.